It seems like most people enjoy watching professional sports of some kind. Whether it's baseball, football, basketball, or soccer, there is just something about cheering on your favorite team. But with the great technological age that we are in with high-definition televisions, they're able to bring the games to our home in a way they never have before. And so I've often wondered, why do people still take the time and the money to actually go to games? I mean, being at home is easier, right? Right? I mean, you don't have to fight with the traffic, there's no crowds, there's no tickets you have to buy, and you don't have to pay five bucks for a soda. (laughs) But if you've ever gone to an actual game, you know that the experience is worth it. There is nothing like being in a large crowd of people when your favorite player scores a goal, hits a home run, or makes the winning shot. But being with a lot of people who are filled with happiness, well, it's a great experience. But you know the same, it should be true of of our worship on Sunday mornings and even in our life groups like you're in here today. There's a great joy that comes when we are with other people giving our worship to God. You know, at the end of Revelation chapter 6, there's a question that was asked. And the question was this, who can stand? And the answer is us who believe, those who have faith in Jesus Christ. And so today we come to Revelation chapter 7 where it shows us this great multitude of people. As a matter of fact, the number is really countless. The the 144,000 that's referred to means whole and complete. That's a lot of people. And they're not cheering on some game that will be forgotten a week from now. They are worshiping the God who has made everything and every one of us. The one who has made us all count. Wow, what a scene. But sometimes as Christians, we can feel alone. The church, though, should be a reminder to us that we are not. That we have a God who is over us and has not forgotten us, nor nor has those who are part of God's family. See, God has a really big tent over us. And it's there to protect us. But we are not under that tent alone. There are many others around us. So will you take the time to meet with the other tent dwellers with you? Believe me. Waiting for victory is all the more sweet when you are waiting with others who are doing the same too.